Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Happy Christmas! It's two, Happy Christmas 2015 from Owen from Ireland. In this video, I actually want to talk about me and my personality for those who are interested. My life number one that I am, 7th of January 1982 that I am, um, and also. Um, Capricorn that I am, but I feel I like, I don't know for sure, but I think I've got a fair bit of Aquarius in me, also quirky. This whole life, number one, new way shower, showing a new way in the world, a new way of living from the heart, new relationships, a new earth, going forward, paving the path, um, irrespective and regardless of the past, because the past has been crazy and the future is what I'm all about and the present and I want it to be like sane, healthy, conscious, strong and positive, you know. Not holding on to silly, ridiculous rules, beliefs, ways of living that just don't resonate with me in the slightest bit. I've always been a rule breaker and an individual thinker, at least since my teenage years. That's when I started, I suppose you could say. Mid to late teenage years, I started realizing this is weird shit going on. Everyone's copying each other. All this peer pressure. People trying to like wear the same clothes, fit in, be cool. They're not really being themselves. They're just trying to fit in, and they're kind of like just copycatting. And I don't want to be doing. It. You know, I fit it in to a degree. I copycat it to a degree. But then as time went on, I started definitely just doing my own thing. So I, I don't know. I'll tell you about me, okay? Just this video is for the fun of it. I'd say happy Christmas. <laughs> but um. One of my biggest personality traits is I don't need any more. I'm self teacher. I learn everything by myself. Like I, I studied. Sp I I became really good at many different things. Like one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. And usually I drop the old thing that I've become really good at. Like sometimes very good, very quick, or even excellent. And like years ago, I used to play. One of the things I used to do was I used to play like poker for a living on the internet for three and a half years and that's after I gave up chess after like I won something like four out of my first six chess tournaments and then I gave up that and just abandoned that I, got, I just studied it and practiced it loads when I first up took it <laughs> um, it was the under 1500 rating I have to say though so it wasn't like I was beating people who'd been playing necessarily for like 10, 15, 20 years or anything like that I was beating there was under 1500 and over 1500 I was beating and winning and playing in under 1500 the over 1500s would be too good for me. So this isn't trying to say I'm boasting, I'm just trying to say my personality trait is it's it's easy for me to start things. Um, it's hard for me to sometimes to slow down or to stop. I have the tendency to become imbalanced by doing too much or too much too fast. It can be great for learning and excelling, but it can be, it can be great because I have self-motivation, but at the same time I'm generally consistent, but it can mean I burn myself out, which I did in the past. I can become too zealous, too excited, too into things, too much, too fast, or even into people, like rushing into relationships too fast, too. And um, <clears throat> so, for me, my lesson is to either to learn how to slow down or learn how to stop. Whereas other people, a lot of the time, they need motivation, and their lesson is to like become balanced by learning how to start or learning how to um, continue faster. To do more or to do to start in the first place. <laughs> so, um, so that's been one of my biggest hardest lessons in life: to slow down or to stop. I have to say, to be honest, I got myself into a lot of trouble, especially physically, like health-wise, just doing crazy, crazy, destructive things to the extreme for a very long period of time. It shattered my body. I had an indestructible body before that. I guess I wasn't indestructible, but I felt indestructible. I was always running up and up and down the stairs, except for the very last time before bed, if I was tired at night time. I was like, I, I was like a spring buck with a constant spring in my step, and I could do like a hundred and one press ups easily. <coughs> Not literally, my record was forty five in one go, but I used to do like around like forty five a day, um, press ups and fifty sit ups at least a day for years and years and years, and I could do one legged press ups, one legged um, squats. I mean, easy peasy, like fifteen twenty. I could do um, one armed press ups, easy peasy, both hands easy, no problem at all. But um, yeah, I've always been fiercely competitive, but since I've become spirit and the spiritual inner healing path journey at the age of early 20s, like 25 maybe, um, eight to nine years ago, I'm now 33, about to turn 34 January the 7th. Um, this year has been an amazing year of my life, being 33. It's been predicted by psychics and astrologers. It's going to be an awesome year in a while. It's like I made three massive breakthroughs this, this year. 
got I finished in a really amazing um, relationship, spiritual contract with my ex-partner who were now really good friends but that was like so hard for the two of us to be honest, it was a hard time for, in our lives for the two of us for three and a half years but we're such good buddies now by the way, I just want to encourage you all, don't hang on, don't hang on unnecessarily or stay in lessons longer than you need to, try have the courage to learn your lessons, once you learn a lesson you go on to the next lesson and it's usually a better lesson because you've evolved and grown from the last lesson. It's a more evolved, higher path once you keep learning and growing from your previous lessons. Don't let fear or habit keep you in your blocks. Um, so, yeah, it's gone on 34. 30 years has been a fantastic year. Um, three and a half years in a relationship. Um, I, so what else was I going to say then? Um, my personality trait, yeah, as a life number one, of course, I'm always showing people and challenging people their convention, their fixed, rigid ways of thinking. Sometimes I trigger people, especially in the past. These days, I've really smoothed up everything where I'm much more um, empathic and compassionate and understanding. When you have those three things and you put yourself in other people's shoes, um, you're able to actually, like, you much not, you, you treat people more like they're your son or your daughter. Um, more often in in the sense it's tender and delicate and considerate and um, you just have less hassle with people the more you learn and grow and learn your lessons with people and boundaries and communication and living from your heart so um, 2015 has been a mega year my first breakthrough yeah was like not the first one but one of them was the relationship thing i'm so happy that's over it's left the door open for new possibilities in oh so good the second breakthrough was I made of health. I had a 13 year cycle of, of ill health from burning myself out, crashing my body. Thank God. That's been one of the hardest lessons of my entire life, to be honest. That was a miserable lesson for a lot of it. Like around 10 to 13 years worth of like physical impairment, disability to a degree. And even like, you know, kind of being like, I crippled my body a bit, like, and it, it really brought it down very negatively. Um, but ending that, I've been cycling like a, like a hooligan. Yes, I love my bicycle. <laughs> I'm able to do exercise, press up, sit ups, and cycling every single day if I want, especially the cycling I do every day. I'm so happy. This year has been amazing year to get back into exercising. I've been 13 years out of the game since the age of 20. Everything in my life's 13 year cycle, or, or 13, like 13 and 33 is all over the place. It's really unbelievable how I see 33 as 13s and, and trees, even, but especially 13s and 33 so often. Um, so the third breakthrough I made was career and business and like passion, calling, work, etc. Money, abundance, all that stuff just all in one go. Like my career and business has shot up. I have my higher self herbs business and I also do spiritual life coaching and I've written two books. So the books don't make me too much, but I think they're good books. I've written two books, Emotional Mastery and Awakening the Enlightened Heart. And um, you can see everything I've, I've said below the video description, by the way. They're good stuff. I'd buy them for people. I'd give them, especially the, this first book is good and it's fun, it's really good, it's very unconventional, it's a happy, very good book you learn lots from. Second book is like a much shorter book, 69 pages, focused mostly on emotions and it's, it's a good book, very good. But uh, yeah, I'm just glad to finally have a bit of financial freedom to be honest, like struggling for years with money and making it go by in the physical world the way it is now, trying to be a spiritual person, fitting in, trying to mix like my true passion, my true heart, my true call and to help and to inspire and to help people to heal and to live the true life you know yeah, it's been challenging so I, I you know out those people out there watching this right now even it's been hard sometimes trying to fit into such a physical like lower chakra dominated world and male dominated worlds too so i feel i have love and compassion for the women and also for the men and women who are interested in spirituality and self-healing and self-honesty and overall honesty and integrity so. so is there anything else i can say more about me um, I'm a very fast person, like obviously, so it's learned. slow down and stop has been a big, big lesson for me. Um, I'm a go-getter, male, male number one, competitive person by nature, but my competitiveness has really diminished almost completely. I don't compete anymore, I just try and help everyone succeed and be, be well and positive. Succeed in life, I don't compete really. <sighs> Anything else? Not really. I hope you enjoyed this video. I send you loads of love and happy Christmas, guys, from my heart.
Thanks for all of your love and support throughout the years. Thanks for watching this video. It's probably been around 13 minutes long so far now, and 14 maybe. But I hope you have a lovely Christmas and happy new year. And uh, hope to see you soon. Take care and lots of love. And befriend me on Facebook. And um, check out any of my links or things that I do below for more information on me. Check out my website, ownfox.org. And um, I hope I can see you in the future and for some of you, help you make some breakthroughs that I've made. And that's what I do with my work. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. Okay, thanks everyone and lots of take care. Namaste and peace.